hi everyone in this video i am going to show how to find the value of x and y where x plus y is equal to 6 and x y is equal to 36 now x plus y is equal to 6 it has called equation number 1 and x y is equal to 36 it has called equation number 2 now from equation number 2 we have given x y is equal to 36 or taking this y to left right side we can get x is equal to 36 over y so x is equal to 36 over y and it has called equation number 3 now from equation number 1 we have given x plus y is equal to 6 so we can write here x plus y is equal to 6 now from equation number 3 x is equal to 36 over y so we can write here 36 over y plus y is equal to 6 or here lcm is y so then 36 plus y square is equal to 6 or 36 plus y square is equal to 6y or taking this 6y to left side we have given y square minus 6y plus 36 is equal to 0 now here we can apply quadratic formula so y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to plus 36 so y is equal to minus b that means minus minus 6 plus or minus square root of b square that means minus 6 square minus 4 times a that means 1 times c that means 36 over 2a 2 times 1 is equal to minus times minus it will be positive 6 plus or minus square root of minus 6 square that means 36 minus 4 times 1 times 36 it will be remaining 144 over 2 times 1 that means 2 is equal to 6 plus or minus 36 minus 144 that means square root of negative 108 over 2 is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of we can write here 108 times negative 1 over 2 is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 108 times i over 2 because square root of negative 1 is equal to i is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 108 we can write 2 square times 3 square times 3 i over 2 is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 square and this square cancel out this square root so it will be remaining 2 and similarly here it will be remaining 3 so we can write here 6 2 times 3 that means 6 square root of 3 i over 2 is equal to taking common 2 we can write 3 plus or minus 3 i square root of 3 over 2 and this 2 cancel this 2 so 
there are two value so y1 is equal to 3 plus 3i square root of 3 and y2 is equal to 3 minus 3i square root of 3. Now from equation number 1 we can write here x plus y is equal to 6. We can write here x plus y is equal to 6. Similarly here we can write x plus y is equal to 6 or taking this y to left side we can get x is equal to 6 minus y. Similarly here we can write x is equal to 6 minus y or x is equal to when y is equal to 3 plus 3i square root of 3 then we can write here 6 minus 3 plus 3i square root of 3 is equal to 6 minus 3 minus 3i square root of 3 6 minus 3 that means 3 minus 3i square root of 3 so when x so when y1 is equal to 3 plus 3i square root of 3 then x1 is equal to 3 minus 3i square root of 3 again again here when y2 is equal to 3 minus 3i square root of 3 then x is equal to 6 minus 3 minus 3i square root of 3 or x is equal to 6 minus 3 minus times minus plus 3i square root of 3 so x2 is equal to 3 plus 3i square root of 3 so finally the values are when x1 is equal to 3 minus 3i square root of 3 then the y1 is equal to 3 plus 3i square root of 3 and when x2 is equal to 3 plus 3i square root of 3 the values are y2 is equal to 3 minus 3i square root of 3 so finally we can write here x1 comma y1 is equal to 3 minus 3i square root of 3 comma 3 plus 3i square root of 3 and x2 comma y2 is equal to 3 plus 3i square root of 3 comma 3 minus 3i square root of 3 thank you for the watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye